Good evening, Twitch. How you doing? It's Saturday night. Hopefully you're having yourself a good weekend so far. Mine, well, has basically just been cleaning up around myself. But happy St. Pa Patrick's Day as well. To all of those who wish to, well, let's just be frank, most of you are probably out drinking. <laughs> so, at the very least, I hope you at least drink responsibly. And if not, I hope you make, self, make sure you have a plan to get yourself home safely. I was planning to drink, do a bit of drinking myself, however, I just learned a bit of medication I took, uh, and along with drinking a couple of beers, we planned that to be kind of a bit of a mistake. So, a lesson has been learned, and I shall not be drinking tonight, unfortunately. I was, I do have this lovely bottle of, uh, whiskey that I do enjoy drinking from time to time. Not so much on stream, but just on my own time. <clears throat> just here, watch a stream, watch another stream of Alexa tonight. Hey! All good. Welcome, Walnut. Up here and enjoy yourself. Because I just lost my powerhouse in my party. <laughs> Hopefully I can get through Chapter 7 pretty quickly. But we have a lot... There's actually a few things. There's actually only three things we technically need to do in this area where we're at. Because we're actually in uncharted territory. A bit of a mousetrap, actually. But how are you doing tonight, Walnut? You're just here relaxing? I'm guessing if you're like me, you might have enjoyed watching Dragon Ball Super. I'm not gonna spoil it, just in case. I always like- I, I like to be mindful of people and spoilers. And I should actually have the game selected. And I should probably also make sure I have Muxy Live enabled as well. You know what, honestly, I would really like for Twitch overall, the end? You watch a little bit- a little bit too? It's a train from- I'm sorry, I know- if you may like it, I'll respect it. I got no problem with it. I don't hate it. Like, even things I actually don't like, I still see, like, there's still things that are redeemable or things that are good about that. But for me, watching Dragon Ball Super is like watching a train wreck. I- I just can't look away. I know a lot of people love it, but I think it's just a tra it's just a train wreck to me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I apologize, but it to me, that's the way I just look at it. So, what I'm hoping tonight to accomplish was probably from last stream. I think this has some really bad parts and some really good parts. Yeah, no, like, even even where they are right now, it's a good part, but it's also still really bad in terms of making you go, Oh, this is bullcrap. <laughs> No, there's still a lot that's actually very admirable or everything. There's, there's always stuff you can actually enjoy, even from a series you overall haven't been liking. But there's only actually really three things we can do right now. Well, I guess four things. First off, I wonder where the heck I can get a bundle of coral whiskers, a a cactuar needle, a sky sword uh, gemstone, and a glass gemstone. I have no idea where to get any of those. And it's honestly for me it's not so much the animation. Although I do agree with you. Seeing today's episode did show a lot of animation problems. Um It's the writing. The writing is the thing that kills me. So we have only three things. We have party of three. We have to go to the Vesper pool here. Well, uh, there's two other things we actually need to do. First off, we need to actually select this. This is where I'm gonna go first is no pain and no gem. And then there's the last one, the Ever Valorous uh, Regalia. Actually, I guess this one's actually closer. Huh. Question, if you select a quest, does it highlight uh, an area to get said item? Uh, not all of them, actually. So, so let's take SIDS here. So there's these non-recommended levels. These are the ones that are more... I'm just going to use the word obtuse. That's the word I normally default on. Or obscure. Like, it tells what you want, but it doesn't tell you where you can get any of these. However, for the most part, though, any quest you actually do get, uh, it'll tell you, hey, you can go here, you can do this, uh, this is where you actually do it to do the quest and stuff. And you can actually zoom in on the map, so... 
you see the circle here for the Ever Valorous Regalia. I'll be searching that entire area on the map for this one piece. Same thing with actually, same thing actually with No Pain No Gem. Same deal. Uh, the, the map's currently zoomed in, and it's telling you a generic area of where you'll need to look to actually get. Uh, to actually find items, but that's specifically like you need to find an item Although I remember weapon quests being useful. No, I'd assume they are I mean they wouldn't make it like some a focus of the game if they if they weren't important I honestly believe that The heck oh that's in the dungeon. Okay, and my parent I'm too far zoomed out yeah, so I'm pretty much locked into the Vesper Pool area here. So I'm going to take that advantage and just take as many pictures as I can. Uh, do what I can. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do a quest location. Yeah, so everything else is basically blacked out because of the border. So I'm going to go over. Yeah, so it's going to take me to the same spot regardless. So I'm going to select that one. I could get used to having all this room back here. I'll let the big guy know you said so. <laughs> yeah, I would assume on the all the weapon quests. I feel like that's a bit of like the weapon quests I'll say in this game feel like kind of a misstep. They introduce it. No way through. <sighs> really? Just are are you serious? My apologies. All right. Interesting. Oh, and three hits. I actually took a good picture of these Imperial Troopers. I'm trying to finish off Snapshot. But my misstep with the uh, weapons is that they never really... They feel so mid-tier, or like below tier. I mean, I'm seven chapters in. I understand. Like, I very much understand that I am A, overleveled, first off, and B, hey, Cactuar Needles. That's actually one of the things I needed. I was curious if I had to actually kill a Cactuar. Okay, honestly, now looking at my car, it actually does sort of look red. It's not the red I want. Resume. What's the forecast? Clear skies with the temperature rising. Nice. Hopefully he'll U-turn. Yes, he will. Yeah, the thing is, Weapon Quest really needs something to highlight where you get said item. I basically need a guide to complete them. I don't know about that. I mean, like, for the weapon ones, like I said, it feels like a misstep. I feel like they needed to do... You... They needed more upgrades. It's like oh, one, two, three, four. That place? Please. Hmm? Sure. Let's go get a pick of that place. Yeah, go for it. Woohoo! Photo op link front. Head for the photo sh uh, photo spot. Is that where we're supposed to go? So it's like you have this. You have your uh, sword that you got from your father. Honestly, I would expect that to be like an item that you'd be able to upgrade multiple times, over and over and over again. Doesn't really feel like it. Like, I've only upgraded it twice, and it's like, such a weak weapon now. Actually, I'm surprised, honestly, with a lot of the weapons in this game. That... Where are we going? Jesus Christ. Oh, parking spot. That actually makes a lot more sense. <clears throat> yeah, engine blade, drain lance, uh, auto crossbow. Like, I'll be honest, like, Prompto is easily the weakest member of my party, just simply because, eh, they knew what they knew. They knew what. Just simply because you need to actually get upgrades and such. Let's go. Alright, so, first things first. Let's see where we are. So... Let's see... A photo op. Oh, we drove way further than I actually wanted. Oh, whatever. Yeah, so engine blade, drain lance, circular saw, 
and the um, auto crossbow. I would expect all of them to have like maybe six or seven upgrades. What I'm basically saying is like those weapons should have more of a payoff we'll to do down. more exploring of the world. There we are. Take a photo. Take a shot from here. Good call. Now it's picture time. The three musketeers. Unfortunately, without our good buddy Gladio. We miss you, Gladio. Ready or not. There we are. <laughs> uh, wait. What? Well, I... <laughs> I swear, Car Carbuncle is just photobombing us every single time. Hold on to this one. Oh. All right. So first things first. Actually, what I could do. Turn to car. Oh, what am I doing? I'm a dummy. Iris, um... Ah, that's... Being dumb. Easy now. If you think it's spoilerish, I'd probably ask for you to lay off on it. There's this mining spot. Where? Over there, okay. Never mind, I guess we don't need the chocobo. Like, obviously, if you actually complete the chain, there's clearly something very important that you're supposed to be able to get. I have no doubt in my mind. That's what, uh... Everything in order. What you're supposed to be able to get. Yep. Like, I have no, I have no doubt in my mind that engine blade is probably going to be a really powerful item or a really powerful weapon if you actually follow the entire quest chain. No doubt in my mind. But it's more being able to actually... Keep it consistent with the progress of the story. That's what I'm specifically like talking Ignis, about. Pull over a sec. Certainly. Like that's what I actually want to try and well, focus on. I should have actually went to that camp and waited till dawn. I think I'm actually going to do that because I'm going to regret fighting at night. I normally have no problem fighting at night, but I don't have my the buddy. Color's amazing. Is that all of it? The only two? <sighs> Stop having my car. I want my red car. Is it too hard to ask for a car to be red? You know what? I have a better idea. I have a better idea. This is a faster way, and I won't feel like a dummy. Let's go. <clears throat> I know that's actually a campsite. Imperials above us. Thanks. Many of those bases, have you done the Imperial ones? Uh, so two Imperial bases. I've met up with Aranea, uh, Highwind, which I'm actually surprised. Hey, level 9. Turbo stamina recovery speed has been covered. Nice. I was curious about that. Thanks for the ride. Also, speaking of magic, that's something I haven't messed around with a lot. Uh, I could discard Blizzard, but I'd rather be able to get the spell out of it. Ah, oh, thanks, buddy. Until morning. There we go. Better. I like the Choco music. It's actually really well done. Although I'm still fond of Final Fantasy sixes. Yeah, I agree with you on that one. I'll, like, there is an... I believe there's an item, and actually I think there's also an armor set. Alright. Hmm. The car. Because I'm not leaving anywhere without the car. Or I could just get pulled over. Alrighty. What the heck is wanting to fight us? Oh, that... Did Dan play explain things? Ooh! I swear these assassins are rude. But I agree with you. Magic does feel like a double-edged sword in this game. Ah, oh, darn it. Oh, 
was embarrassing. I thought so, you're up. Got it. I know we're taking a lot of pictures, but there's like I said, I wanna stop being able to take snapshot. Okay. As much as I like taking the pictures in mid battle. He's almost at max level. There we go, there's some AP for it. Is he gonna suicide? He's gonna suicide. Yep. I'm dying of thirst here. I'm starving to death. And yet we're all very much alive. I wonder the I do not need people blow doing self-destruct. Oh, self-destruct, please. Yep. Yeah, I really feel like... I understand, like, what they did. A lot of this game is streamlined for an RPG. And I feel like they definitely took the lessons from, like, Final Fantasy XII. Although, just between, you know, between us, I never actually officially played it. Um, I honestly could play it. I do own it now. Oh, looks Great like it's raining. For a walk, huh? What the heck's going on with the weather? But yeah, I agree. It's definitely a uh, double-edged sword. Like, I like it, but at the same time... Ugh. I don't like that it just blows up your entire squad. Oh, hello? What's that? That looks like a big monster. I wonder what Gladio's up to right Salvaged, only to be discarded. Let's scour the area. Alright. I don't know what's actually... Always got each other's backs. Right? Break the target's appendages. Okay. You know well, that's a challenge I'm willing to take up on. This is why I bought the Rapier Lance. Wait, that is the right one, right? Rapier Lance? Yep, destroys appendages with ease. Right? I just kind of wish, like, with how many... The hunt is on. Okay! Uh... Well, maybe I can take a better picture of the cockatrice. Okay. Fire! Okay. Seems Ponto's been intoxicated. Got it. A chickatrice. Pronto, take a picture of that little chick. Okay. <clears throat> it's really important. Probably more important than the AP. Like, I don't know how you select different parts. Probably should do is actually this. Hopefully, they'll both be using it. And apparently, I'm also poisoned. Come on, use it, select a different spot on the cockatrice.
Like, I just wish selecting parts on the body were a lot easier. I'm not getting that AP, that's for certain. Thanks. Is that a pangolin? Got it. it looks like a pangolin. You're right, actually, that does make it more useful if I was a better player. Like, the problem is, honestly, though, is because this game became streamlined, you can't really openly select what to hit. Like, that's honestly one of the biggest issues here, is when you have things like, you can break appendages. Like, that's great and all, but it doesn't help when you don't know what you're supposed to be hitting. Like, he's weak to ice. This ought to give you an edge. Thanks. are getting a little clammy. It's a more than we can chew. Oh, yeah. This has got to be it. Well, let's head back and have Cindy get to work. Oh, isn't Cindy the best? I mean, she searches high and low for all these rare parts for us to use. Very gracious of her. Man, she must really like us. Less us and more the regalia. A lot of those are from breaking parts. If you need a certain item from Monster of the Quest, the targeting system can really screw up with that game. Yeah, no, that's the one, that definitely is one of the other down, downers about this game. Is, uh... Just not being able to, uh... That? Nope, still nothing. Okay. Is not being able to properly select what you want to actually attack. Easy now. Though I feel bad for killing all those things. Speaking of, you know, things. 86, you gotta be kidding me. I expect that to be mastered by now. Oh, hello. Sorry, I, I have to get these now. This is... I want a red car. Well, thanks, buddy. it technically does. It has the weight mode. Really? That... Oh, I thought it was... Okay, alright. Silver ore, gold. Damn it! Why did they want me? Give, why are they giving me silver and gold? I don't want silver or gold. I want red. Ugh! Something tells me I actually should play on my own time until I get enough red ore. Get all the shinies. <laughs> I actually like that. App. I like that mindset. Especially uncharted territory like this. You don't get anything just simply by sticking by the road, but at the same time, I want that ruby stone. The hang of what? You know, looking after yourself, being one of the common folk. Well, in a lot of ways, it's easier than being royalty. Like, but yeah, all right. Like, I'm actually surprised that high wind actually became. Uh, Sure looks like it leads somewhere. I'd... You think there's something in there? I'd say it's all but guaranteed. Goody, a dungeon. Let's take a look around. Wow, oh, this place is a jungle. Abundant in not only flora but fauna as well. You really think we'll find anything of value in these old backwoods? All right, hi there. It's time. 
Oh, well, all these things have poison. You know, I love pangolins. Oh my god, this place is a jung is a jungle. Look at this. Twists and turns everywhere. Oh god, you can even actually it even transcends. Strong bone. And the animals are ripping each other apart. Oh, hello. A job well done. Now for the delivery. Oh, now I'm curious. Well, we're already here. Safety first, everybody. Hey! Oh, got to hear my plan? Uh, give me the short version. Brilliance can be summarized. He's not wrong. He is not wrong okay. about brilliance cannot be summarized. Is why I'm a very long-winded person. I still like regroup a bit better, honestly. I'm guessing this is fire. This ought to give you an edge. Yep, fire. Thanks. Out of way. Not rules. What a deal. All right, we're done here. <laughs> okay, you got me there. Sometimes it can be summarized very quickly, too. Aha! I've come up with a new recipe. A new recipe I would like. I'd like some sausages. Like puff pastry covered sausages. Oh, hello. I saw that. Ah, come on. Let it be red R. I think I might actually just take my own time. You know, I look. I think the reason why I've always been averse to open world games is simply because of how gigantic they are. Like, I don't know what to do, where to go, or slot my time. Like, something like this, it gives me a focus. Like, hey! A mega megaphone. What am I supposed to do with a megaphone? Exclusively for Gladio, increases the party's HP recovery. Interesting. Of course, then I ask, why are they giving me this if I can't actually use it? I like some open world games and hate others, mainly because you just kind of relax, explore about the wild ones, or Final Fantasy 15 where you're supposed to focus in quest lines. I still would like to get, I still want to get uh, Breath of the Wild. I still have not gotten that yet, unfortunately. Ah. No, it's apparently it's Gladio. Then again, I I, just, I just remember delay. Duh. Ah, oh, I pressed attack at the wrong moment. Okay. Oh, 
I wouldn't expect anyone to remember an item to memory. That would be... That's like speedrunner stuff, and even then they'd forget it if it actually wasn't important. Oh, boy. I guess I'm just somewhat glad. I know I've done everything. There's gotta be something else in here. There's a lot of this dungeon I haven't explored, apparently. You know, this is actually probably the smart... Uh, this would be the smart thing to do, finally. It's actually just scale the wall. Just scale the wall, and you'll find what you're looking for. Unless it leads you outside the dungeon, which it is. So, we'll scale the other side of the wall. I would expect there to be something important here. Hello. Can't say we're out of the woods just yet. Now with all these monsters, there's danger at every turn. Take care, we don't lose our way. I only specifically remember the unique weapon at one of the Imperial bases. It was annoying to get. Right. Sounds about right. Well, I've only been to two bases, and they've both been storyline requirements. Uh. All this staying alert's really wearing me out. Got enough uh, energy to complain. Hey, somebody's got to do it. I do enjoy complaining. Pronto, you're up. Got it. Hey, Agnes, instructions. No. Oh, it's weak to swords. Alright, you have a long attack pattern. Far less trouble than anticipated. Nah. Ignis! Careful! Don't let him get you! That's crossing the line. My hand slipped. There you go. Would have liked to wrap that up more quickly. Oh boy, two roads. A verge and a separate wood. And I I took the one. Apparently offers me a camp. Shall we rest? Come on. Stop jumping, Noctis. I know you're happy. Wait until morning. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful daylight. 9 a.m. Super Berlin. Is this a fishing spot? And here we are. It is a fishing spot. It's a fishing spot in a dungeon. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, what's over here? Hello? Ah, uh, more gold ore. Come on. Anything else? Probably another fishing material. Yep. Crystal. You find it hilarious they made a VR 15. VR is still trying to find its way. The big thing with VR right now is that it's really only for those who are wealthy. And that's the big thing. And they've definitely have taken steps, like VR companies or companies who yeah. focused on VR, have definitely done a good job trying to reduce the price as much as possible. But it's still very much a symbol, for most people, a symbol of wealth. Because not only do you actually need the money to have a top-end computer, you need the money to 
you know, for the actual rig itself, which is expensive. And then finally, you need, uh, you need even, uh, you need the physical space to be able to play VR competently. Emphasis on the competent part. Oh wait, what am I doing? These things are weak too. Why are these scenes at war with each other? We're outnumbered. I propose we take them out one by one. Could you propose a way to finish this faster? It's time. I'm holding up. Getting by. Love you. Um, what's with the tone shift? There's a tone shift. This ought to give you an Thanks. You one hit him. Oh, yeah. That, that didn't feel right. That's what blue right. If you hold a button, you can do a summon. That's what the blue lights are. Oh, okay. Yeah, summons seem like it's kind of the... No offense, it sounds like it's kind of like here, instant win. Uh, for a second, I thought it was like a bad tone shift. It's like, we have this tone shift here. What's going on? Although it makes sense, we have less people in the parties. Oh! Okay! Alright! Uh, no offense. I could really use a better... First things first. Fire, yep, fire. Oh. Don't mind if I do. Okay. Prompto, I need less selfies. Be fine. Can't heal. Oh, the summon chance goes away. Okay. Well, I. Everything cool? Holding steady. Oh, we lost you for a second. I think I just cut off its horns. I did. I just cut off its horns. Come on, get up! I want to take care of that tail. Perfect selfie moment there. Got it. Yeah. 
You are... Come on. Switch to your tail. Really wish I had regroup right now. There. This is a surprise I didn't expect to do. I like it. Oh. I'm guessing I could have summoned there. I didn't notice the tone shift. And I am okay. going through potions. Honestly, it feels like potions are basically Phoenix Downs. That's what it honestly feels like, is potions are Phoenix Downs. Let's run the opposite direction. Oh, prompt was in danger. And he's dead. Far power at the royal tomb. Okay. I'm guessing. Sounds like someone's in a good mood. Basking in our hard-fought victory, I presume. Uh, I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Yes, I am. I am really Cut going the wrong out, way. Man. It feels like potions are basically Phoenix Downs. They re that's what it really feels like. Potions are Phoenix Downs. Tomb of the Rogue. I already had dual swords, what could they give me here? Ooh! I like this weapon! You know, I'm not actually really huge into shurikens, but... Hey! I'll take it. Yeah, Ninja Star, Shuriken. Same deal. Star of the Rogue. Oh. So, let's see. Star of the Rogue, 177. A queen spurned of the public eye and took to the shadows. This was her shuriken. From near and far, it traces deadly arcs and to, to the left and right. Oh, uh, that's... Okay, it gives you resistance to everything. Well, I'm... No, we're gonna... We're gonna try that weapon, thank you very much. I would, just, I would hope they do. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. There we go. And what's this? A Mega Phoenix. I guess there's nothing else for me here. Alright. So we did that. Um. Okay, game. Oh, it's probably because I'm in a dungeon. That's why. That actually makes sense. Party of three. That's a little weird. Uh, we'll give it a shot. I don't mind playing around with a, with a new toy, especially when it's of the rogue variety. Personally, you know, it's like, give me the daggers. I know it's bland. I know it's basic, but it's like my favorite... Honestly, like, I'd say my favorite characters would definitely came from Final Fantasy VI. It'd lock, Sabin, Mog, Shadow, S Setzer. Maybe not specifically in that order, because honestly, it kind of goes back and forth. Aside from Locke. Locke is honestly my favorite guy. Alright. So... What time is it? 
actually, yeah, let's go and wait till daytime. We're here. Huh. Oh, there we go. And can actually try it. All right, that's actually kind of cool. Um. Again. That's for the win. Watch out! Well, no one hit Bato. You're up. One well, At least I'm getting an AP from all this. the rogue one that's actually honestly really cool but now it's time for us to leave Say all these monsters just enjoy fighting each other for sport. Oh, never saw one of those before. Step too close and it's the last no, one. Nice oh, kill it, you are this. No! Uh-huh. I wonder why I'm getting so much AP. I'm actually confused by this. Now I'm just playing reckless. All right, we're done here. I'm not sure. Maybe it's because they're close to your level and you're not abusing magic and summons and group moves like impulse. Yeah, it's, that's that's hard for me to figure it out. All right, whatever that is, that's really cool. That's also cool. Oh, buddy, that's actually really badass. That, not so much. Forgot, it drains health too. Kind of the other important thing. Let's get out of here. Maybe I should go to camp. All right. There you are, buddy. It's a nice weapon. I kind of wish it didn't have the whole drain HP or... I gotta find a better way to actually use these weapons. Like, if there's a way to get... 
more active HP regen. I guess that's probably the best way I could think of it saying it for now. We should probably actually try Scepter of the Pious. I didn't I didn't give that the attention it deserved. We got another weapon. How many do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five. We only no, not five. One, two. No, we have six. We have six. Okay. I don't know why I counted five for a second. Probably I should take a better look at my gear as well. Gold Bengal increases maximum HP significantly. Uh, uh, prompto. He still needs it. Any HP he can get, the better, because I have him with that camera. I have him with that camera strap. Well, since we can go off the beaten trail here, and this might be a one-time area. <sighs> I suppose I was. Who are you, and what did you do, Iggy? My lips are sealed. <laughs> All right, I love fighting cockatrice as much as the next guy, but my goodness. More of those things. Never mind the pursuit of food. I will say, so far, out of all the things I've had to fight, the cockatrice is probably actually the... And hello, fishing spot. Yep, there you go. There'll be something else worthwhile down here. Ow. Yeah. The big world. And a gigantic road. I've already been on. There we are. Here's my car. Thanks for the ride. Thank Thankfully, the game kind of breaks the game for you already. Let's buy all my potions back, because we damnfully abused those. I'm going to get up to 20 on those. Restore those. Phoenix Downs. Seems like those are the same. Feels weird you can actually just buy food. Hmm. All right. This location, party of three. Time to shove off. Go for it. How much HP do I have anyway? No, oh, I can't check here. Let's not worry about that. And let's also play. Unforgettable. Uh, was it shuffle? There we go. Fortune favors the Valiant. I've been watching too much Magiswords, uh, Mighty Magiswords lately. I usually thought of Fortune favors the Bold. I guess we go to the other side of the lake. Anytime I see like a piece of ore, though, I'm gonna stop this car. In the next battle I get into, I'll try out the scepter. Uh, well, speaking of battles, perfect opportunity. Any plan of attack? Plow right through them. I'll circle around. Target the enemy's blind side. I know. Lightning! Right. <laughs> okay. Oh, 
Oopsie. Hi, random couple. How is Mastalem going to survive without power? How am I going to survive without power? Don't know. Radio still works, though. Okay. So... Is this where we're supposed to go? Huh. Looks like, actually. Yeah, actually, it does look like this is where we're supposed to go. Alright. Works for me. Just goes in one big loop then. Whoops, that's the wrong one. Hey, buddy. Let's go. Ah, chocobos. Best thing. Ooh. Ah, mining spot. I'm starting to notice like the mining spots use very specific assets. We'll meet again. Wow, the color's amazing. Greenstone crystal, redstone crystal, white stone crystal. That's unfortunately I'm looking for ore. Uh, I have no idea. More cockatrice. Okay. Leave you alone. And uh, see where the heck I need to go. Alright. I think this is the spot. Beautiful day. Indeed. Hello, what's this? Um, how can you? Okay, Chocobos can go in the swamp. Can sort of go into the swamp. What the heck am I doing? Come on. Well, I can't pick anything up because I don't know what's what's attacking me. Thanks for the ride. All right, what the heck's attacking me here? Uh, thanks, buddy. I'm just a scout of us. Easy as they come. I'm guessing it's those things, because they're the ones that appear to my mini map. This ought to give you an edge. Thanks. So I guess we're playing with the old ice is the ability. Actually, speaking of which, sorry to interrupt this. Mastered and mastered, even better. I play with some new toys. Although I will say, I would love to get more pictures of our Nea Highwind. Like, when did Highwind become a um? When did our uh, Highwind become like a staple for the franchise? I guess Sid Highwind. Either really. All right, well, since both of you mastered that, it's time for you to learn a new technique. Star Shell, let's have you learn that. Oh my goodness, I have 400. Deal heavy damage with machinery by overloading its energy output. Depletes the tech bar by two. Draw enemies close together with machinery, creating a gravitational field. Hmm. Yeah, this I've been thinking about getting, just accelerate the tech bar's rate. Unleash a devastating fire attack with daggers. Depletes tech bar by three. Or overwhelm. I'm curious to see what overwhelm is, because Ignis has always been very much a uh, a support character. It'll feel weird actually having him just use overwhelm. And star shell. Only three levels. I'm actually surprised about that. 
All right, let's go see what our mission is here. Is this where? Is this the mithril we need? Arden, of course, the chancellor's here. Oh, hello. What's this? Rare coin. All right, Arden. What do you want? Gentlemen, what a pleasant surprise. Ugh, told you he'd be waiting. With my imperial friends, no less. Splendid. But fear not. I'll put in a good word. Well, come along then. Don't stray too far, lest you get left behind. And surely, you'd rather avoid unnecessary scuffles. Seeing as you're now a trio. Oh dear. Touchy subject. One we won't discuss with you. Then let's discuss why you're here. It can't be archaeology. Mithril, perhaps? This guy's reading our thoughts! Mithril. It's a precious resource, you see. We can't just let anyone get their hands on it. But you'll help us get ours on it, right? <gasps> I never said that! Of course you didn't. Where is the fun in that? I thought you'd rather dig it up yourselves. I gotta admit, like, this is a very weird game. Or have another dungeon. Lovely. Fear not. I'll be but a moment. A moment doing what? Beats me. Hmm. All clear. Go ahead. It's Aranea. Hang on a second. Hang on. One second. Huh. Move, Arden. Okay, fine. You can actually... I'm fine with actually taking some out of a photo of you. Arden? Arden? Okay. Oh, fine, look smug. Oh, there you go. That's actually better. I... I'm terrible at taking pictures. Just have you know, I'm terrible at taking pictures. But the shot I want to take of... Actually, I could talk to her. Alas, the ever wary military. They'll not abide visitors left unattended. I must prevail upon you to accept an escort. I've seen to everything. I'm already liking where you're going with this. So terrible at taking pictures. How close can I actually get to her? Whoop. Much better. Oh. Change view? How change view? Oh, first person, third person. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Can I? How close can I actually get? It, re it really zooms back out on you. There we go. Better. So. You're the new recruits they sent over for special training. Nice cover, runaway prince. Thanks! Oh, come on! <sighs> At ease, recruits. There's nothing in it for this ex-mercenary to turn you in. Prompto and Ignis earn 1,500 XP. Let's get this show on the road. Show? Forgot about your training? Well, I'm being paid to escort you. Just watch yourselves in there. Aranea has joined the party. Some features will be unavailable while she is with you. I trust you'll be civil. Commodore Aranea Highwind, I leave them to you. See, I think Arden obviously is playing the bigger game. Search until sundown. Won't do you any good. If you're looking to get inside, you're gonna have to wait. Hold down the fort. You got it, Lady A. Ah, uh, we sure about this? Hold down the fort. We will. <laughs> Wait, is that that was Wedge? Is that who I think Hold it down is? The fort. You got it, Lady A. <laughs> it's Wedge and Biggs. Word of our community's acclaim spreads. Oh, thank you very much for the host, uh, Sonical Crow. What kind of place was this? Any idea, Ignis? None. Gee, I wonder what happened to the locals. Why not head inside and look for him? I'm actually curious about something. Of course, I can't actually do anything with her gear. High wind. Reese, the Stoss Spear. 
Okay, so Wedge and Biggs, or I guess if you've played Final Fantasy VI or a couple of earlier ones, Wedge and Vix, they are actually a constant cameo appearance now in the Final Fantasy games. Very much on the same line as Sid. Uh, actually, at that level. Um, somewhere around the game, you'll always find, usually they're soldiers, Wedge and, it's either Wedge and Biggs or Wedge and Vix, or sometimes it's all three. Uh, due to localization, I think when they sit, like, like I said, it's it depending on the game you play. I believe it now it's pretty much uh, Wedge and Biggs. Uh, they always actually show up one way or another, and they're very hard to actually find. Because in Final Fantasy VI, they're like, they're right there. They are with you with Terra in Final Fantasy VI for what is effectively the game's prologue. I thought you didn't... Oh no, I'm greatly enjoying this. I am loving the fact that I, I have her in my party. Level 48, 2,400 HP, no defense. No, I love dragoons. Even as, even as a dragon, uh, dragon male attire. No, I am greatly enjoying this. <laughs> Although I'm curious, what abilities do I not have available? Like, what do I not be able... Okay, I can still blink. That was an accident, pressing that button. Guys, look! Some kind of light. The entrance. What else could it be? Bingo. Stalif Grove, stone mo mausoleum built by the ancient people of Solheim, who, who saw fire as a sacred symbol of life. The people paid homage to the patron saint Efreet at the Rock of Ravato. And recent academic studies suggest the people people's devout faith was the driving force behind the advancement of their civilization. If one to hypothesize that water, in turn, symbolized death among the people of Solheim, then it stands to reason that they established their space for venerating the souls of the lost beside an enormous lake, the Vesper Pool. Those brave enough to enter the tomb have reported, have reported a wide variety of traps, presumably laid to deter grave robbers. More interesting, however, is the design of the mausoleum interior itself. The emphasis on water and the fluidity seemed to support aforementioned the uh, theories about Solheim's civilization, conception of life and death. Interesting. Uh, I guess so, that was on a postcard, of all things. It's not a bad idea, honestly. I'm, I think I might actually... Honestly, ten, you know what? Since we have this break here, I'm going to take one quick second myself. And avail myself. So taking a small break real quick. I'll be back in about one, two minutes here. And once we actually have this as an option. That's not the that's not it. What was that button again? What was that darn button? There it is. It's a good song.
All right, I'm back. And let's find that button. Let's stop that. And there was actually one thing I wanted to do real quick. That's actually a lot more important. I love taking pictures of Aranea, but at the same time, I need to take pictures of, of, of Biggs and Wedge. I may a die hard Final Fantasy guy, but I need to do it. Thank God, man. Nope, that's the wrong button. That's also the wrong button. That's also the... Well! Let us hope the autosave feature is actually really good, because the game just crashed on me. I don't think there was a point for the, for the game to actually save itself. That's not good. That's absolutely atrocious. Well, we're about to find out how good the autosave function is in this game. Because I've been putting a lot of faith in that system. Really hope it actually is a decent one, or else we're going to have a problem. Shall be now the backtracking episode. And all I wanted to do was take a picture, and it crashed. Ah, oh, that is a kick in the head, honestly. Oh well, let's move on. Let's see how good. Load game. Auto save. Southern blockade. Stalef Grove. Wait a minute. 39, 39. Troll play time. This is the highest play time. Alright. Well, this is gonna be a thing. I'm curious where it sends, where I'm actually gonna end up at. I'd say it'd be worth it, just because of, it's important to take pictures of, you know, the things you actually want to take pictures of. It's still kind of surprising that the game would do that. Let's see, how much progress did I lose? None at all! Alrighty, that is fine by me. Alright, let's do the smart thing. Let's do the smart thing. Boop. There. Lights on, guys. Indeed. Kinda wish you could move while you're taking a picture. No offense, prompt, prompto. No, no offense, buddy. I need you to kind of not be there. Prompto, you're killing me, buddy. Alright. Perfect. And one for you. There we go. Welcome back. The game crashed on us. Police was this? Any idea, Ignis? No. Gee, I wonder what happened to the locals. Why not head inside and look for them? Guys, look! Some kind of light. The entrance. What else could it be? Bingo. Alrighty, one more dungeon to go through. As good as an invite. Then let's take it. Let's do it. Aren't we eager? Those guys your friends or something? You appeared to be on good terms. Who? Biggs and Wedge? They're more subordinates than they are friends, but I trust them all the same. Love that reference. Love the references. Oh, man, how far does this go? Yet a ways still. Uh. Yeah. Finally! I thought it'd never end. The people here, they must have been fit. Never skip leg day. Uh-huh. Uh, who left the lights on? Maybe the owners are still home. No. 
I doubt we can expect a warm welcome. Indeed. Stay sharp. You think it's an ambush? Perhaps. <laughs> yeah! Nothing of note here. Just a load of nothing. Interesting. Okay, why? One question. Like, I know she's supposed to be mercenary, but they could have clearly had a better stance for her as for walking and exploring. <laughs> so, no, I'm always cool with a dragoon in my party. I actually got lucky when uh, the one time I did, uh. Hello? What's this? Uh, hopefully, that might have a meaning. Yeah. What's her ability? Three for high wind. I have no problem waiting. Unless that happens. Mind, I guess it's not. Well, only one way to end it. Maybe this way. Well, I'm not getting whatever that item was. Am I? That is. Man, all these hey, don't wander off. Uh, I wanted that item. Let me guess. No. Huh? Another chrome bit. Yeah, I got lucky when I played uh, the Final Fantasy V uh, for the four jobs. Seen better days. So basically, you could fall on our heads without warning. Yeah, it's just that. Good to know they love taking. Uh, they love laughing at me. Oh wait! Well, maybe not wait that much. What's our oh, we dude. might be winning. How's everyone? Good. How about you? Just chipper. Yeah, of course, can't go around. Yeah, the four job fiesta. Uh. No, no, I never played Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy V normally. The only time I played Final Fantasy V was the Four Job Fiesta. Best thing I need now. Ooh, come on. Yeah, I just one-shot these guys. Kind of makes it hard to not... I want to see High Wind, but I don't think I'm going to be able to if this continues. I want to see what High One does. That's fine, just keep keep moving around. It'll build up by itself. Mind if I finish this one off? No. I'm loath to take a lady flooding her own hat. Little late for that. Take this. And Worth it. Totally worth it. Do not regret that at all. That's the end of that. Showing some promise. It was worth it. Proceed. Beautiful beyond words. Oh, that is pretty neat. Look up. That's the water's surface. Wait, what? Does this mean we're underwater? Whoa, there's even fish. The hell is this place? Oh, can we truly be submerged? Uh, it does seem harder to breathe. Like seeing a dream. Gladio is seriously missing out. Probably not his thing. No, no, you can never tell. Huh. Company! Above us! 
The creme brulee. I see what Starshell does. Oh, that's really good. about this spot. What is it? Have we been this way? Something overlooked? Not a hundred percent sure. It's nice. I just... It'll hold you. Famous last words. Demons. Till death do us part. Practicing your vows. <laughs> the army swore their oaths a long time ago. Yeah, I didn't know Starshell would basically like despawn enemies. What does the Empire seek here? Specimens. And we're stuck harvesting them. Specimens? Demons. So what's all this about the army and demons? What do you think it is? Nice. I love guessing games. So... Does it do anything against- I don't think it does anything against them, does it? No, it does do something. It's nothing. Against machinery, ice. I doubt I'd be able to do a link strike with her. Let's keep moving. I think Starshell only works on demons from the description, as it says. Rusted bit. Something tells me that glass bit Turns is. Out the Empire makes weapons out of them. Weapons? Yeah, I'm sure you've seen your share by now. Something not quite right with the Empire lately. It's not just lately. True. Maybe it's time I left. Really? What would you do if you left the army? Whatever I want. I was a mercenary once. Maybe I'll round up my men and hunt demons for cash? Well, that's uh, a heck of a plan. Who the heck is everyone? All right, apparently I'm alone right now. Time to book. Right. Yeah, I'm alone right now for some reason. Yeah, I'm alone. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, there we go. I'm actually curious about something. Hey, Ignis, instructions. With all we've got. What? That was weird. Too shabby. Now I'm torn if I actually want to use Star Shell. What about the Empire strikes you as not quite right? The Emperor and New High Commander, for starters. Then there's that charmer of a Chancellor. I really can't stand that guy. Can I? Nope, it's not that simple.
Leave no stone unturned when it comes to a dungeon. Is it safe? Not everything's gonna. Whoa. Oh come on! Did something collapse? Hmm. I wonder. Can I? No, I. Can't. No! Urgh, I'm not happy about that. The one time. Like, I'm trying to use my blink, and apparently it won't let me. I don't know why. Well, I probably do know why, but... Starshell draws aggro, and... Oh, it just weakens them. Okay. Well, great. I did not want to drop down here, actually. Gotta be way up. Mega Phoenix... How? This is only one way. Yep, there's only one way out. You know, I... I wish they just had, like, a normal walking pace. Treasure. The nose nose, dude. Now that you mention it, let's not forget our purpose here. Oh, now she's walking normally. Okay. And we're walking funny. Lovely. Come on, really? Yeah, I don't know why they're making me walk so slowly. Let's do this. Right. They're weak. Yeah, they are weak in size. How's everyone? Good. How about you? Just chipper. Let's see. Anything else? I want that treasure. Be like one of those things. Okay. <sighs> Thanks, game. I. Sh you know, I know that was a dumb thing I did, and I'm willing to accept that. All right. That, that's kind of brutal to be able to use that attack. Well, now we gotta walk all the way around again. Just because I had to jump. Probably didn't even have to jump, but I jumped. I just wanted that treasure. Is that so wrong? What did Locke always say himself? He's a treasure hunter, not a thief. I believe that's what comes to mind. Is that seriously? Is that completely just blocked off now? It is. Damn it! 
And I huh. doubt Noctis has the platforming ability to make it over. Ah, Daddy. Saw that coming. Two arms. Hello, Iron Giant. And also oh, damage. Right on cue. Get back. And it's got friends. Livelier by the second. Come on, then. Well. Well, if he's actually... Yeah, he's the demon. Okay, that's honestly kind of cool. Wait, I... Oh, that's not good. I just realized what weapon I should be using. Okay, now I'm confused. Why did the place put itself back together? Well, time to test a theory. Time to test a. Th oh, right, I fell down. I can't even get back up if I wanted. Damn it! Well, where the heck do I need to go? It's probably through that door, isn't it? It's through door number one. Hold on. Alright. And... Let's go with the normal RPG answer. Magic. What is magic? Damn, you're badass, RNA. Oh, thanks. I gotta be honest, I'm kinda liking her voice actor. Although I'm still not clear what the char like what kind of character she is supposed to be. Alright, hold on. Wait. Hmm? How? Hang on a second. Now I'm even more confused, because I know that door was not there a second ago. Alright. Never too many stairs. I got a bad feeling about this. Stairs they go on, forever they go on, on and on and on. He's gone. Should done for. Oh, well, whatever. How you know you're over-leveled in a game? 
When you're almost the same level as Aranea. I almost know why I'm making that. How? I thought everything restored itself. Well, now I'm confused. I'm gonna regret this. I'm gonna regret this. Yep, okay. And regrets were made. Sure, out of all things, that was the one thing that didn't get restored. I don't understand why there's check marks either. I swear, if that actually repaired itself. <laughs> that repaired itself. God damn it, I knew it. Eye elixir. So what, do I have to fall down twice just to get access to stuff? Is that seriously what we're doing here? And there's the fall damage. No, I can't use my warp sword right now for some reason. Like, that's actually the first thing that came to mind. It's like, oh, I'll just blink over there. It's like, nope. No. No, it's not letting me do that, unfortunately. Yeah, so that repairs itself now. That repaired itself now. Rare coin. Like, it literally just seems like it wants you to just, uh... Uh, just fall. Yeah, well, I've never been through there. But this probably will break. No, I guess not. It's surprising. So then wait. That will lead me... Okay, that was there. Hang on a second. It's never the small dungeons, it's always the big dungeons that get- It's Come never the big man. dungeons, it's the small dungeons that get me. So now... Everything is right with the world. I should be able to get that. Yep! There we go, there's the treasure I wanted. Heliodor Bracelet! Though anything that broke on the way down is now repairing itself. And if I walk away... So that's a staircase down. And what's over here, then? Yeah, so that's the way back. I think it's only when you're out in the open world you can actually make the, uh, you can throw your sword. And this section... Alright, so that goes down. Okay, I guess I've done everything. My one weakness with dungeons. First off, I like to explore a little too much. Second, I always get lost. Emphasis on always. <laughs> I get easily lost in places. Only with video games for some reason. Chop chop. How about this? You ready, Arnea? Let's do it. Nice moves there, Majesty. Well, here we are. Ah. Ah. Gives a little light here. Oh, if you don't like great swords, I'll be more than happy to give you one. I'm amazed. 
What can I say? Damn, you're badass, Aranea. Aw, oh, thanks. Hey, how's it going, Side Assault? A place to cross, huh? Yes. <sighs> We've come to the bridge, so now we cross it. What's wrong? <laughs> oh, nothing. Just want it to end. Uh, let's go. Right. Seems they don't want us to cross. Well then... Pogto, you're up! Let me brighten your day! I'm impressed. Well, How have you been, man? Uh... Alright, it didn't go off. I know I haven't been exactly around when four streams as of late, but it seems like he's taking a bit of a hiatus himself. Uh, hello? Am I just out of mana? I still need to catch up on that. Stand in your way. You've got my back. Always. I need to actually catch up on um season and we go. four and five. Right. I've been terrible on that, honestly. I just haven't made the time for it. Unfortunately, when I always look, it's like, oh, I have this to do, now I have this to take care of. Ether. Hello? They're really good, season 4 and 5. See, honestly, I didn't appreciate, um... Seasons, uh, 1, 2... Like, I didn't appreciate Ruby until I actually... Saw Ruby. Like, I mean, like, as a whole. Whichever way leads to the treasure. If only we knew that. Well, guess we bumble on. Keep the bumbling to a minimum. Yeah, bumbling kind of gets people dead. I don't understand what the check marks for those things are. I got a feeling like if I actually sat down and waited for like season six to finish, then it might actually be more enjoyable. Talisman. Or saw a talisman before. A common charm found throughout the world enhances magic nominally. Elite or bracelet, already have something better. Awesome, well thanks for stopping by, man. I'll probably stop by after we finish this dungeon. Huh? Hope you enjoy John's fortune cookie stream. Last thing I need now. Eyes peeled, now close. Yeah! And now we will play the waiting game. Let me brighten your day. Nice one, Prompto. It's nothing. Well, here we are. Here goes nothing. None the worse for that. Loves Kakan and Diggins finally swinging around that gigantic sword. Right? That's another plate. Jump on that. Still don't know what that does exactly. I hope it does something good. That was not smart. I thought Starshell was like an, a direct attack. Although I do notice one thing, Gladio's uh Gladio's weapons are what all these monsters are actually weak to. They're weak to the shield and they're weak to the uh right hander. 
Or the two-hander. I don't know why I said great-hander. I don't know what those symbols are for. I mean, did I pass through? One, two, three. I've hit them all so far. Let's do this. Right. Ah, uh, you're new. Oh, two liches. That's not good. Let's try and actually take care of these guys before they start casting magic. Against you casting magic. These bastards keep getting stronger. You don't say. Gotta nip the danger in the bud. The Empire's no exception. Yeah, right on. Couldn't have said it better myself. Like a bad habit, I'm just jumping on each of these plates. Just hoping it'll actually do something meaningful. I kinda wish I could heal right now. You know, I still wish they actually gave me an actual instruction manual. Oh right, I'm actually full on magic. Uh, Actually, it wouldn't be a bad idea to make some magic. What am I missing, actually? I'm probably missing thunder. No, I have two thunders. Two, one ice. Two ice, actually. I have three fires. Alright, I guess it doesn't matter what I make, then. Let's make... No, unless we need to make another ice, then. Just a normal Blizzara would work. Unless... I... And drink flower. Okay, that's kind of overpowered. I'll have to remember that. <laughs> A quint cast. Blast cast. No, no, not 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 doing that one. Attack down. Interesting. I'll to man. Really made the magic worth something. No, the dual cast. Yeah, I'll just make a normal Blizzara. No, no. I wish I could just unselect something. I kind of wish that's what I could do, but it doesn't seem like that's an. Op oh wait, no, maybe there is an option. Uh, discard. Yeah, discard. Here we go. I use Quint cast on every spell. It's basically just toss and forget. I kind of can see that as just destroying people. Because even I have to admit, that seems kind of powerful. I guess. Oracle Ascension Coin, nice. Alright. Gonna be put on the map there, buddy. Oh, spacious. There's so so gonna be a big nasty here. The bigger they are, the harder. The harder they fall, and you can already see it. It's right there. It's so nice. Picture of it. It's a terrible picture of it, but it's a picture. Right. One second. 
Wow, it's just doing nothing but attacking. This is... Ariana leaps and overpowers foes from on high, making allowances from low ceilings. This is a uh, interesting fight. I probably should use a gun. I'm not supposed to wait for high wind then. Scarlet Splinterbone. Unless they got something from this boss. I don't think you're supposed to be able to get its tail, are you? Kingdom for it, my kingdom for a hotel. My kingdom for a hotel. <laughs> We're alive. Let's celebrate by eating something dead. Not too shabby. <laughs> and here's our mithril. But I'm curious. Looks like it's just a staircase up. Hello. Or any backstabbery becomes a foot. Alright, well, it doesn't look like there's anything else. That's our mithril art. <sighs> that concludes our business here. Say, Commodore. Aranea. You said the Empire uses demons to make weapons? Listen, you've seen Magitech troopers, right? MTs. They're born from demons, in a lab. Born from demons? Darkness is coming. If I were you, I'd watch my princely ass. A kingly ass. Will do. Turn to the entrance. Well, actually one of the few times I'm actually gonna say yes on this. Arden Izuna. There we go. I'm surprised they didn't find a feet a freet in here. Alright, Arden. Like obviously Arden's like your big Russia. guy, his big Congrats. boss. That concludes your training. You've still got a hard path ahead. But don't let anyone tell you how to walk it. <laughs> You may have been hired under false pretenses, but your assistance was invaluable all the same. <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. You can spare the pleasantries. Take care walking your path, Aranea. Oh, right. Thanks. I, I will. And I'll train you some more if our paths cross again. Oh, and before I forget, His Excellency instructed me to give you boys a ride back. If you need a lift, feel free to hop on. Well, glad that's over with. Noct, I've just received word from Cindy. And? 
We're to return to Lestalum. Her friend works as an engineer at the power plant. She'll take care of the mithril. Uh-huh. And that'll take care of our boat problem. Once you're rested and ready, I suggest we hasten back to Lestalum. Oh. Make sure you're prepared. Well. Shame to say goodbye to such a nice fishing spot. Want to see what's biting before we bolt? <laughs> you know, probably should have bought this before we actually headed on in there. Hard Edge, Ice Spear, Assassin Staggers, <laughs> Well, I feel like a dummy. Already got one of each. Wait, Vitality? Hmm. It's actually, that actually would be worth the investment for one more. And let's get the Ice Sword. See, this is the one thing I'm not fully understanding about this game, is the whole, um, the Empire, uh, the Niflheim Empire, who conquered Insomnia, the Insomnia Empire, is constantly helping Noctis. Like, obviously there's a bigger game, you know, a bigger scheme happening, and clearly it has to do with Arden. Arden and Luna Freya's brother. Those two. Specifically those two. That's my guess. Right. You're headed to Lestalem, right? I'll take you there, but no further. Got it. So, ready to ship out? Uh no. Sorry. We'll hurry it up. Oh, fine, I will, but there's one thing I need to do. Let me take another photo. Prompto, you're killing me, buddy. Killing me, buddy, with where you stand every single time. Is there anything else actually here? Oh, I've got the Royal Tomb. Not that. Find the place out. No, nope. okay. Oh, you're headed to Lestalem, right? I'll take you there, but no further. Got it. So, ready to ship out? This is probably actually the end of the chapter. You bet. Let's fly. Hold on tight, boys. <sighs> Look at that! A red ship. See, that's just the confusing part about this whole thing. End of chapter. That was a lot of experience. That was a ridiculous amount of experience. Alright. <laughs> Here's... God damn it, Prompto, you're killing me, buddy. I wonder... Jokovos, car riding, Gavarnea, the giant. Keeping that. And we'll keep that since I was Quetzalcoatl. And we'll keep that. Thing is, I'm kind of happy they uh, keep it confusing. Keeps the plot interesting, not knowing why what's happening. Still, it's just very unconventional of like in terms of when you think a country has been conquered. Or a nation has been conquered. And I, oh, that's the pan. Those are the little pangolins. That's the damn prompto. You had one job, buddy, and you had to put yourself in it with the tree end. Ah, oh, pictures ruined. What's that? Both actually are pretty cute. I need to go through this and actually delete some of these, though. Alright, I'll take care of all those. Prompto has a habit of photobombing. I know, it's terrible. Seaworthy, with the help of the Imperial Commodore, or Nea Highwind, the makeshift miners hit pay dirt, only to learn raw ore won't suffice. Cindy refers them to Holly, an engineer in Lestalem who knows how to treat mithril. I know, and I murdered it. I murdered the little ch uh the little chick. Another adorable another adorable little bird just like Chocobos. A little cockatrice. Rise and shine, Prince Charming, we're here. <laughs> Oh. 
Sounds like a spot of troubles popped up at the power plant. Hmm, wish I could help, but I'm powerless to do anything I'm not ordered to. I'll leave the keeping of the peace to you. Of course. We got this. Good luck, boys. Several hours later... At a safe spot. Loving that outfit, Nox. Why don't you wear one? Oh, that's the only one. And if anyone stands a fighting chance in there, it's you. Forget about fashion and go. Alright, well, clear out the daemons and stabilize the generators. Great! Apparently, I guess the place has been We'll be conquered. waiting at the entrance. If any demons escape, we'll get them. Alright, I guess the Lestan power plant has been conquered by daemons. That's very interesting. But I'll have to wait for another time. I'm making a lot, a lot much. No. Well, okay. Never mind. We're committed, ladies and gentlemen, because there is nothing. You cannot save the game. Testing. Do you read me? Just want. Yeah, we can't save the game. Never mind. Offering to clear out those demons. That'll give me time to treat this mithril for you. There's a hunter who went in right ahead of you. I imagine there are too many for one to handle. But two of you should be fine. It is now ruled by demons. They shall continue to implement taxes and all electricity. It's interesting. Too much power and the whole place could blow. So be quick. Will do. Okay. Well, first things first. We need to actually get rid of that mark because that's going to drive me nuts. All right. Well, we're committed to this section here. That's one thing I don't like. I'm surprised they didn't allow you just save whenever. So, I guess... you might back up. I thought we were partners. Anyway, place is crawling with demons. Wait a sec. You sound familiar. Save the talk. We got hunting to do. Oh, come on. How does he not know who he is? With the introductions. Follow me. We know that's Gladios. Like, keeps the demons away. Yeah. Alright. Silver Bangle. Guess I can't equip him with anything. You should know a person by their voice if you've been around them for years. You ready to rumble? Level 24? Seven Goblin. And even as Impulse. All the targets in the time allotted. Noctis, Hunter! And apparently he also got a lot of experience. And we got the Mythical component. 
work in there. As promised, here's your mithril. And, uh, thank you for your hard work. Sure. Hey, big guy! So the hunter who went on ahead... The one and only. <laughs> How you been, fellas? Huh, not bad. Whoa, someone did a number on you, though. You should see the other guy. Anyway, I'm back. And better than ever. <laughs> yeah, you don't look like you're better than ever. Gladdy? I can't believe it! Hey, thanks for looking after her, Dustin. So, Gladdy, did you apologize to Noct for storming off like that? He made it up to me in there. The power plant? Oh, so you got your hands on some mithril. In that case, I'll go deliver it to Sid. You'll probably want to freshen up first anyway. Come and meet me in Kayim when you're ready. There we go. Who's Dustin? Your Highness. You'll probably want to freshen up first anyway. Come and meet me in Kayim when you're ready. Tell Cindy to give me a call. <sighs> All right. Yeah, Gladios. Tang Ozen. I need to actually take a look at something here. Yeah, Gladios didn't have that gigantic scar on his chest. Nor the scars on his face. Wait, oh, that makes... Okay, yeah, I figured this will uh, be focused more on the DLC. I was overwhelmed doing 3 out of 8. That's almost leveled up. How is this one? And that's also almost leveled up. Alrighty. Well, now that we can save this game proper, which we will do. On chapter 8. That actually went by pretty quickly for that chapter. Looks like next time we'll head on down to Kayim. Actually, a good question. What do we need to do here? Brave New World. Yep, looks like, and there's even a quest down there, too. Oof, now this world's getting gigantic. So, if anything, looks like actually now would be a good time. Oh, that is tempting. That is tempting. We might clean up some hunts here tomorrow. And we'll see what else we can do here. I think I also want to, uh... We'll also deliver the stuff to Cindy. So if anything, tomorrow we'll probably do a bunch of hunts. Get restock ourselves on a bit of money. Until then, though, that's gonna do it for me tonight. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching it. Thank you very much, Sonical Crow, for this... For the host there. Let me take a look and see who is streaming right now. You know what? So, there's actually a couple, there's actually two streams right now, I would highly recommend, is one, Proton John, he's doing his fortune cookie night, and it looks like Catherine actually is the current game of choice. If you enjoy watching Atlas's games, that's actually a treat, but I specifically recommend checking out Cthulhu the Third. that's who I'm going to give a host to. Uh, it's C-T-H-U-L-H-U underscore T-H-E the underscore three R-D. He's a great retro streamer. If you enjoy watching extremely chill games, that's all about the gameplay. I highly recommend watching it. He is a great, uh, he's a great just, it's a great stream to sit back and watch and chill for the night, which is probably what I'm going to do. So if anything, go give him a watch and give him your support. Until then, though, that's gonna do it for me. Once again, thank you very much for watching. And until then, take care. And don't forget to have a drink for the St. Patrick's Day. <laughs>